so in the base here. I'm going to show you all about my record collection and what I got over the years. I've been uh, someone collecting about, uh, let's say, 18 years. Yeah, 18 years with a good approximate. And since then, I got uh, a couple of records together. Now, I first have to put the camera over... Oh, let's just start with, with these ones. This is my uh, record player for vinyl, 12 inch and 8 inch and whatever inch. It's uh, for ripping stuff. The, in these two boxes you will see my records, my vinyls. This is a uh, wrap paper, just, uh, just recognize the wrap paper face, that's a Game Boy game. That's a uh, Fresh Family uh, German Conscious Rap Gang. I just listened today to this album because I got this album from my brother. Uh, not uh, my style to be honest because there's no message in the songs, I don't know. Oh, hey, hear me falling? Ui. Then uh, Böse Onkels, a dunkler Ort. It's a German uh, rock band and uh, basically they sound like uh, just uh, binge drinking, you know, nothing more. The sound is basic uh, binge drinking to me. I, I don't like it very much, I know a lot of people do. Then I got this uh, from uh, my side job. Uh, found it somewhere in the trash. Uh, didn't listen to it, but I know there are some cool breakbeat tracks on there. Uh, I'm listening, I, I'm gonna listen to this uh, just for the lols because uh, 50 Cent is just too gangsy, you know, you, I, you just have to take him seriously. Uh, then we got uh, The Devil Wears Prada, uh, the movie was somewhat okay, and I know there were some interesting tracks in there, didn't uh, expect so, uh, generally generally speaking there's a lot of uh, generic R&B and classic bullshit. Then we got uh, JBO, I got this basically just for ripping it and sharing it with other people in high quality. Um, I thought I cleaned every record, but, I, but I, it seems that I missed some. Like this one, Alexander Marcus, uh, he makes a mixture of electro and uh, folklore, and he calls it electro law. A mixture of both. He comes from uh, Miami, that's where he got uh, the inspiration for his uh, pink pants, as you can see on this one. I uh, basically got every cover. I don't need to talk much about him because his stuff is quite legendary, in my opinion. Then we got Tony Hawk's, I don't know how this came here, the PC version. Great port, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, one of my favorites. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, played this also quite a lot. Uh, this is uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, I don't know why I'm calling you all, telling you all of this stuff. This is the one I uh, played about uh, 18 times through uh, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I played uh, through like 37 times through, uh, you know, because uh, I had a shitty GameCube and it uh, deleted all the memory cards. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Not to mention, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 version on PlayStation 2 varies strongly from the PlayStation 1 version. Uh, highly cut, I would say, is the uh, blah blah. I uh, want to play this one and this one. These are high top priorities on my list. And uh, now you just have to give me a second so I can get to the vinyl and all that shit. To the vinyls, to be correctly speaking of that shit. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Just putting that one away. Some of these, I know some of these vinyls don't even have uh, something written on them. So either I wrote something for myself down, uh, yeah, unknown artist, Russian, side A. Uh, beautiful breakbeat track, very undergroundish, hard to come by. That's why I purchased it, it was worth the purchase. No, um, we got 
Panda, um, what was it again? Time would go up and glow. I think this was a hardcore track. Octopus Galore. Uh, also breakbeat. Uh, just, uh, what was it? Side trends? I don't remember even. Uh, the vinyl stuff, I don't have so, so much of a recollection. Uh, the Gorsi Teenager Party is about the uh, cha 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 and easy listening music. Then I got the full metal jacket, uh, 8 inches, and uh, oh yeah, acid tracks by what was it? The acid junkies. Wait a minute, this is totally upside down or totally wrong side around. Let's just turn it around so for better, better few purpose. And then the fuck up falls over. Get a little bit angry. And then we are at the beginning. Yeah. Now, where were we? Well, as the junkies, uh, we put out a lot of great records. Uh, this one as well. Keep on beeping. Yeah, this has uh, four tracks on it. It's an EP. Basic Acid House, what you would expect from me, uh, if you like them. Then uh, DJ 3D, Move, and what is the other side? The other side is uh, B-Boy 3000, Reggae 2001, uh, from Nitrous Oxide Records. The same uh, record that I stumbled over by uh, DJ Starscream, and DJ Starscream is the DJ you will see and hear in uh, all the Slipknot tracks, in most of the Slipknot tracks. Not the very first album, but the other ones. Uh, Square Pusher Cone Number EP. Uh, I didn't purchase uh, purchase this one because of the the, the sound that I like. Uh, actually, there are some tracks that I didn't enjoy, but uh, a lot of uh, shitty rips were out there, so I had to correct them and put them online. That was just my personal duty, I thought so. Then we got uh, also nitrous oxide uh, DJ 3D. Nitrous oxide again. out the box on one side and capital J. Capital J, what was it again? Unrealistic terroristic acts? I don't know. Basically, I purchased uh, the most uh, uh, N N20 nitrous oxide records because of uh, the DJ Starscream sets and that he where where he was signed and all that shit. Yeah. Then we got the Plank Acid War 2.0 remix EP, uh, three remixes and a continuous track of Acid War, which would be called Acid Wars 2.0. But this is uh, a grammar mistake and they rolled with it. Not such a good IP, but I wanted to have it. Some of these records uh, on vinyl I made uh, not as such a high priority to get the top sound that I enjoyed, but more that I have it in better quality. Capital J, Sand Grinder on one side, and uh, Capital J, up the ante, uh, yeah, on the other side. Nitrous Oxide Records, blah blah. Then we got these casings for other vinyls that I might pur purchase in the future. And um, that is the first box. And let's uh, go on to the second box. Just give me a second there, again. All the years, all the collecting, collecting. Vinyl had uh, the advantage that I got some stickers that uh, ended on my uh, record playing all that shit. And uh, let's open the next box. Oh boy, as you can see, it's packed full. And you see the ink records. I don't even know what Ashanti. Oh yeah, turn up the. Feeling true. I basically bought this thing uh, because of uh, only you. The other side. Uh, let me just let me pull it out because I enjoyed the guitar on only you. 
Yeah, here you can see only you. Not a big R&B fan, but uh, I just like the fucking guitar, man. You know? One of the few R&B tracks which did it right. Okay, as you can see, this is also the other way turned around. So, let's pull this fucker out. Turn it around and put it somewhat back in. So, <laughs> let's start again from the other side. Um, some of these are just boxes, just for shipping, if I might sell a record. That's why this one's empty, and this one's also empty. Then we got uh, Chicago tracks. Um, Rush Play Orchestra. Uh, yeah, also some old school house tracks. Uh, let's see. I might even sort this out in real time. Transient Records. Oh boy, what did I purchase? The, oh yeah, Slide and Loom. I'm a big fan of Slide. Uh, Pete Martin, English composer, dude, more or less, since 1990s to 2008, active. And he made a great Psytrance album in the 90s. And uh, since 2000-ish, he's only... Um, what is it called? Yeah, basically just a mixing engineer and all that shit. He doesn't make any tracks anymore, which is very, very sad, in my opinion. Then we got... Um, we got... Gollum and Hunter. Uh, Burek. Uh, the track basically goes like... Uh, Guten Tag, ich hätte gerne ein Burek. And uh, then the, the German dude says something like... Oh, Burek, keine Sorge. Hab ich hier, mach ich dir. Mit Salat oder Käse? Uh, mit Käse bitte. And then this uh, song starts like Börek, 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 Börek. Very funny, okay? And I, uh, I bought it for like 20 euros or so. Fucking expensive shit, but I wanted this fucking track so badly. So I had to get it, you know? And I got it in high quality and all that shit. Uh, good pu purchase, by the way. Then we got uh, Surveillance. Yeah. Consumer. This dude made basically just some good electro techno stuff but not too good you know it's uh, between average and very very good just between there you know i thought the ep would sound better because i listened to snippets on youtube but that wasn't the case okay let's get this fucker out this one oh boy I should have sorted it out before i started making this video but now here we are got Let's just fucking ignore that fact. Oh yeah, and on this one, on this one we got something very special, I guess, because it's yeah. Here you can see uh, Robert Koch uh, or Koch Hyper Moment, his newest album from I don't know 2016 or 15. And I pre-purchased it, uh, limited edition, very beautiful artwork and all that shit, but uh, I'd say it got too commercial, you know. Uh, not, not very badly on this album, but on the tracks and the albums afterwards. I couldn't listen to his stuff anymore after this one. Yeah, special hip-hop record label, as far as I remember, where I ordered this stuff. Let's put it like this. Then we got motherfucker. Just hold on. We fix this fucking shit. Oh boy. Yeah, no, now we're good again. So this one's empty. This one's empty. Here we got the uh, Kodo. With uh, Prokopets, uh, what was it? Düsen Sorse shit. Uh, yeah, basically a German new wave hit, somewhat very popular and a very funny one, also. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just found it somewhere. Had to rip it. Didn't even have to. Had to buy it. This one, oh yeah, is uh, Long Street Playboys by Remix. Uh, basically, this started out as, um, what was it, 
in a Brazil Adidas shoe advertisement and there was a flute in the advertisement like yeah that was uh, the main melody then some dude remixed it uh, some, some years later some UK dude then some years later after that some German dude remixed it and here we are where I'm holding this why not on the next step let's see there we got like uh, oh, Bywood Blitz I don't remember uh, Mario Müller Westernhagen or what was the other band uh, they did a track like uh, what was it 50, 50, 90, 2010 and they were some shitty German Indish new wave independent rock band and uh, they they had shitty I don't know, I didn't like this stuff, but this old track here, right there, I enjoyed it, and that's why I got the vinyl. Either that, or my memory is fucking me up on this. It's amazing how, uh, in the vinyl category, I have not so much a recollection of what I've purchased and what not. This is kind of scary, because the shit cost me money. Oh yeah, here we go to the good stuff. Um, What is it? Neo Tantric uh, into Visions. It's a side project uh, by yeah, Wattle and Canty. Uh, these are the dudes from Them Dykes There. Usually to do some uh, dub techno underground dark ambient sound thing. And on this one they got more experimental, but still some very good dark ambient stuff there. Very expensive vinyls. I know for a fact that they lost in two or three, in, in one fire, a big collection of vinyls. Uh, you have to look out, uh, you have to check this out. One of these guys, you know, uh, Sean Canty or Votel, I don't know what the name is. Just look out for them like Sterry. Uh, search out one of these guys and uh, he posts, uh, they, they, you can see himself in a very clamped, very small room with all of these records. And it looks like he's uh, suffocating in there, you know. Um, these are serious record collectors. Uh, I, I can compete with these guys, you know. Yeah, that's the second album. These are more EP albums because they're very short, neocentric, Omicron and Intervisions, as well as uh, Blue Omega. Basically, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the Blue Amiga, the most one, not just because of the tank top and uh, I don't know, I just enjoyed the blue and this one and also the same sound. You wouldn't expect the record to sound like it looks, you know. You can play something right now but it sounds way more sinister. Yeah, you can see the track list again. It looks like this. And we got another package. Got another vinyls. Oh boy. Uh, I get this a couple of times. You, you will stumble over this a couple of times. Adult uh, Nausea. I basically stumbled over them when I found out on a website about New Wave Electro and uh, Synth Pop. And the uh, main track was, uh, what was it, uh, Kick in the Shin. You know, you have to search out this one. And they also did some stuff with uh, Death in Vegas, Hands Around My Throat. I like the female vocalist because she sounds so like she's uh, in some kind of a trance, you know, always not so, not so highly anticipated. And uh, I got this one because, what was it? Love Sick or Nausea, one of these tracks, uh, they had some shitty skips. And then I thought, that's a very sad thing to see in here. Then I thought, hey, when I purchase, I purchase another version from uh, some other dude on Discogs, I might get, I might get one of the records uh, that have a fixed version, you know, not a broken version, not some skips and crackers on it. And then I stumbled over another one that was also broken, but that isn't important right now. Uh, Finger and Cardo, I got my stereo. You gotta search out that track. This uh, keeps, uh, this keeps uh, on on repeat. This is keeping on playing repeat, uh, like for three days now. You know, I got nice stereo. Fucking shit won't get out of your fucking head, man. This is this addictive finger and cuddle. 
they were basically I, I have to I have to tell you, uh, talk a little bit about the background story they got the famous for remixing uh, somewhat a new electro house techno song around 2008 2009 10 around that time I guess and uh, it was uh, called uh, Demon Devil Schleife, the girl with the red ribbon and it was uh, some cheap as uh, cheesy porn dialogue from a 1970s porn movie and uh, that's why it got so famous and that's why these guys got so famous and that's why they remixed this fucking song for like I don't know, 10 years, and I think they will remix it for another 10 years because that is their basic career. They could have gone, um, you know, they, they could have done more shit like this, but they uh, said, hey, fuck it, why use talent? Just just throw it all away, just remix our old shit again and again. And uh, makes me sad and angry. But I got this one uh, because I liked it. This one wasn't so bad at all. And we got uh, DJ Ref, proper talent. Limited edition had to pre-purchase it. Uh, I have like around five records that I pre-purchased. Very solid uh, jungle tracks on there. But I get the feeling if you looked out for the other old records, you might get these three tracks as well. Because let's pull this fucker out. Uh, wait, was it? What was it? Uh, yeah, hard step, unreleased, 1996. Um, I get the feeling you could have gotten these unreleased uh, tracks somewhere else because uh, every time it says unreleased, it doesn't mean jack shit. You know? Then we got it again, like I told you, Adult Nausea. This one had also some skips somewhere else and on some other side, I don't know. Fuck it. Then we got Death in Vegas Girls. And what was yeah leather girls leather is a single track girls is a single track on this vinyl they are combined as one song then we got the uh, Nachia L A M F remix X X X Nachia and Zoo Station uh, I basically got this because of one or two tracks that are uh, sounded a very I thought they would sound different from the album version from this one this is. Uh, but, uh, no, just some not so good remixes, but I don't hold a grudge against them because they always make good sounds back then. Now in the future it's just uh, Richard Fearless and I don't know, just I didn't want to talk about it. It's just depressing. This dude had so much talent and he fucking wasted it. And uh, then we got Subtract. Uh, North South EP basically because of a uh, monster you can see it monster uh, dubstep remix uh, dude and he makes his own tracks and uh, he makes funny cartoons and all that shit too expensive record I remember I recall about 20 euros or so maybe 30 I hope not and I talked a little bit with this guy and he seems okay and I asked if he would put out an album he said, yeah, now nah, I don't know. I think, uh, musically speaking, he's dead. Then we got uh, XX Records, Latour. You will see this one also a couple of times. This is uh, from Basic Instinct, which you can hear in one of the two club tracks, one of three club tracks, I don't recall exactly. And uh, this one has also some, had also some skips. Then we got uh, the other. The tour record version thingy, also with some skips. Then we have, uh, yes, Vista, Suspicious Stench, beautiful track. I demand you guys stop this video and listen to this track immediately. And what was the other one? F Fire, Putrid Creature, wasn't so good, but hey. Uh, yeah. Beautiful dubstep track on side A. Yeah. We got uh, subsistence. What was this again? The off the leash. Oh, yeah, this was hardcore drum and bass from uh, what was this? Cuts on K and Dogs on Crack or something like that. Yeah, here we got another version of um, the tour. XX, blah, blah. Where is it? Have to pack it in. 
So everything's neatly sorted out. We get another version of uh, Suspicious Stench. It seems that I also have some problems with this record. Because too many people sell on this box a record that they say would work, and then you play it, and it won't work. You got all the audio glitches and all that fucking shit you don't want. Then we get again, Opa. Nausea from adult. So let's pack this fucker somewhere there in. Where was it? There. And then we got a very proud <laughs> ownership of it. Just wait here. for at least 5 to 10 minutes. We got a hard floor. These guys have uh, approximately somewhat about 5 or 6 uh, TB303s. Some of them are modified, says Discox, and some, some other sites I know. Um, these guys have a lot of great records. And uh, hard floor 25 gears. And uh, yeah, hard floor. Make it great again. That was the time uh, when which uh, Trump got elected, you know, that's the time where it got released. And, uh, I basically got uh, this sticker also on... Where is it? Oh boy. I got also this funny sticker because of these guys. Uh, make acid great again. Beautiful sticker. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, Mega Man. Mega Man, Super Fighting Robot. Uh, also beautiful track. Beautiful German intro version, hardcore techno acid trance, I don't know. Something like that. Very, very complex color, I just recognized right now. You can see the back side. Uh, looks somewhat familiar. Uh, similar, similar, not familiar. Then we got the Sophie Rex. Um, main thing is Point Break. This is the song most people uh, know about this guy. Or these do, I don't know. And uh, that's why I also got it because of Point Break. All the others were nice features. And uh, oh, see somebody wrote something there. Hardcore trance. I'd say it's Acid House, but what do I know? You know, you can see the side B. Then we got. Uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, Orgelwerke, but I didn't never listen to this, I just got it from somebody, I think even my mom, or somewhere from the trash, never listened to it, but basically I could download it as a CD and they wouldn't have the trouble and all that shit. I'm not that, uh, you know, I'm not that high maintenance. Then we got uh, Helms News, Erika, Auf der Heide blüht ein kleines Blümelein, bam, bam. Uh, Erika, just uh, look uh, out for that track, beautiful. Some Nazi parodies contain this track. Uh, it's uh, basically a Nazi track, but it isn't also. It's luckily not on the index because uh, Adolf Hitler said this dude was his uh, favorite com component and all that shit, but these tracks never get banned because, uh, you know, they weren't too heavy too heavy-hearted. They always had uh, like a nice touch. They always said like, uh, let's stroll through the through the fields and to walk around. Uh, not, not mentioning that these are war tracks uh, marching into a village and raping and killing and all that shit, you know? This is... <laughs> I love I love that shit about tracks when they have some somewhat of a hidden message. Then we got uh, Dr. Dre still DRE featuring Snoop Dogg. Uh, I don't think I need to say anything about this because if you don't know this track you should basically leave this video and you have no right to exist on this very planet. Yeah, uh, this is from the album Chronic 2001, fucking Germans speaking English. Uh, we got uh, Haargicht, Therapie wirkt. Yeah, uh, I got this as a vinyl, as CD, and I got a poster of it because I love their trashy German song. They also have a very uh, 
interesting and new approach to music, I would say. Uh, this is uh, from the music video I Love You Even Though You're 16. And uh, this guy on the left, he was a judge, as far as I know, for 30 or 40 years. Then he got in pension and uh, then he said, fuck it, I just want to do some random art experimental shit. And that's how we ended up in Hagicht. Uh, there you can see it, you see the tour, Danke Arschloch, 29, 20, April 29th, 2008, yeah, uh, not a big fan of vinyl, because I got it on CD, here you can see, the funny thing about Hagi is they have about, I don't know, 50 to 20 members, and the amount is still, uh, the amount of band members is still growing, so, uh, you wouldn't think that there are so many guys in there. Here you can see the CD again, you know. Uh, I got basically every record from them, except one of the very first, and this one was way too expensive, so I didn't purchase it logically. Because even though I have some serious issues spending too much on music, I know when enough is enough. Yes. Let's put this fucker on the side. Then we got. Uh, what do we have? Uh, more than watch. Oh, yeah, this one. I got this one also three times. This is about some hardcore domino saying you have more to do than watch, you have to please the man and some shit, blah blah blah. Uh, Brand Miller, also some German hardcore techno. But I wanted to. This one also without any glitches and lags and all that shit. A needle skipping. So, I got one, I got two, I got three versions of it. And that's how you collect without a seriously logical blah blah. Uh, hook on the water, vocal mix, I guess. This is also, what was it, slide? Yeah. Dr. X Crinomix. Did I write that down? No. Either this is the wrong record or it has some wrong writing on it. Mook on the Water was uh, basically slide. Yeah. The other dude, Pete Martin, I told you about. Then we got. Uh, oh, oh boy. Cut of Snap and Matrix and Future Bound Remix. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, you have to Google this one. Beautiful DMB track. Matrix and Future Bound, uh, the earlier stuff is also beautifully produced. You get a nice uh, mixture, uh, mixture, mixture between of uh, a mainstream sound and what was the other thing? Yeah, beautiful product, uh, productions and very original ideas in the songs. Uh, you won't find this on any other Dean be artist for a long time. Uh, I highly suggest uh, the albums these guys put out and especially this remix. I stumbled over this remix also in a set. That's why I got it. This one in the first place. So we got Plank and Tucked and Tucked and Schlucked and Plank and Fogged. Energy Industries, also German Techno. Blah blah, do I need to say more? Hope not. Let's put some of these fuckers back in so we can focus more on the other shit that I got. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. So you guys basically have to watch me do my chores, huh? Uh, what was this one? All the money's gone. Oh yeah, this is Bubble and Zoo. Uh, I really like the cross dress you can see, dude. You have to also check out uh, Spaceman. That's the main track. Bubble and Zoo get famous. Spaceman. Then Caffeine. Uh, All the money's gone. This is a special remix version, as far as I remember. And uh, the dude has like two or three albums. I somewhat suggest you listen to all three of them. They're uh, 
highly refreshing, I gotta say. I did expect more generic sound from this dude. Yeah, Frontier Slide. This one, very good remix EP. The main track was uh, Cause I Wanna. The. Fuck, man. I, I can't remember the, the name. Uh, Cause I Wanna. Wait, what was it again? Side A is from a rock band, English rock band, The Highs, or what was this? Tyrannosaurus Rex was somewhat the album name. These guys always dress black and white, and Cause I Wanna is one of their rock tracks, and Slide did a remix on this. Not such a good, big, a big fan of this. And this is uh, from The Cure, uh, New Forest, and Slide remixed this one. The remix is as good as the original, I gotta say that. Seriously, Slide uh, overdid himself again. Once again, 1990s track. I even uploaded a video about this song, uh, just so it can be online. You know? Uh, the Helix brand. Some Acid House techno track, I remember. But I don't remember its sound right now. Uh, technology, okay. We got Marky Mark uh, and some cover. Let me go somewhere else. Marky Mark, No Mercy. Beautiful, happy house track. No mercy, no mercy. Uh, I got this twice because of its quality. One of them was flawed. Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Before he got full time into acting, he also had some uh, good vibrations. Also, another track you might know. He, he put out like two or three beautiful tracks and then he stopped. With hip House. Hip House, yeah, that was the genre it was called. Uh, Liquid, 20 Fingers, Roller, more porn track. Uh, 20 Fingers uh, did a lot of uh, these, uh, let's say, naughty tracks, you know. Uh, uh, I think this might be good music for if you're jerking off, you know, I might consider getting the album when I'm jerking off. That's basically the music for that kind of stuff. Other than that, you won't, uh, you won't get no Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, you know, but good fapping techno. <laughs> fapping techno, yeah, let's, let's, let's call it that. Uh, big Chance Abyss. This was also a great techno track a friend showed me, and by accident, yeah, and that's why I got the vinyl for this one. We got, uh, what do we have, what do we have? Hmm, Giant Records, Gianna Brothers on Records, wait, what was it? Oh. Misanthrop uh, Hölle and Thrillseeker by Jenna Brothers DNB from 2003 Germany, I don't know, was it Hamburg or, or Frankfurt? Somewhere around that area. One of the very first tracks Misanthrop put out there. Now he's a, a big uh, body of uh, face and they even founded the label. Uh, Neo Signal, uh, well, the main residence is in Hamburg. Yeah, yeah. Then we got Noisier. Endgame, uh, also a track I highly suggest. Unveil featuring Face. Yeah, basically I'm a big Face fan. But uh, Noisier Endgame, this is a game changer, you know? Gotta say, this is a game changer. This is the front cover. Then we have over here Pium Records. Triple Vision. I don't remember this one. Oh, Black Sun Empire. Yeah. Uh, Dark Sun, or what was it? Wait, just let me put it out. Usually I wouldn't. But this is a big occasion. You guys are watching here. Yeah, Black Sun Empire. On one side and. Sun Empire on the other. What was it? The Silent and Bond Run. Yeah. Both great tracks. Now I remember what this was. Just let me put this one back in 
Hier. Oh. oh fuck. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, Campbell Records. Opa. This one's the uh, old Sysex record. Sy A. Days of Madness. Inside B was something different. I don't want to put this out because uh, blah. You can look it up on this course if you're really interested. I'm a big Sysex fan since he is the new sound. I don't know. But this from the old days, 1998. Really enjoyed this one. Gather from Berlin. Uh, some leftist uh, Gabba dudes. Uh, I highly suggest on this one. What was it? Sinners, yeah, and Acid Warrior, beautiful GFB tracks. Then we got next upcoming Cox Pops, Pip Vogel, and uh, what was the other one? Can't remember. This one cost me about 50 euro, or even 80. I don't hope so. Uh, back in those days, uh, the music video channel Viva fucking put out uh, music videos of Acid House and Goa Trans tracks. This one was one of them. Yeah, you got it. Uh, outside, Acid Volume 3, blah blah blah. Acid Volume 3 and Birdie. These were the two tracks. Uh, Here's his mention worthy the, the guys that you can see on here Frank E, Peter Candy, uh, Ian Iron. Afterwards, there was only uh, Frank E left, and Frank E is now the only dude who's in Coxbox. And basically, it's uh, how it sounds you know, nothing new. Uh, you, I, was, I was very hyped and excited for the album. That came out like three or four years ago. Uh, Coxbox made a pause about I don't know eight or ten years, just for this shitty album that wasn't that didn't sound so very special after all. Uh, Acid House tracks uh, compilation basically. Here you see 8102. I wrote this as a little kid when I didn't know what this meant because my mother got this record from a friend of hers, and afterwards I got this vinyl. There are very generic Acid House tracks in there. If you're a fan of the genre, you will recognize a lot of them. Yeah, that's all there is to say. What I didn't like about some of these Acid House tracks, too much sampling and no original sound, you know? Some, some of these songs sampled so much that you didn't hear anything original by it. Yeah, I'm on Tobin, uh, Kitchen Sink Remix. I don't know why I ordered this, I just wanted to have this back then. I didn't even have a record player. This was like a 2007 and it had a Noise remix on it and a Clark remix. And I didn't know Clark back then, but I knew Noise and Emma Tobin and I liked the idea of that. So I bought it for me. Yeah. Oh, the fuck. It doesn't matter how I turn in. They always fall down. The suite, uh, I didn't listen to this very vinyl, but I got the album where these tracks are on with a different cover. Uh, they introduced me into English rock and I really enjoyed their sound. Maybe I should look into their stuff a little more, you know. Um, Lady Sovereign, uh, she was female. Uh, wait, wait, let me start again. She was one of the very first female grime artists that started in the UK around 2006 or something like that. She has two albums and the media made some big hype because sometimes she's uh, into girls and sometimes she's into guys and then the media blah blah. And uh, nowadays she doesn't do anything. She put out two albums and now she's somewhat dead. Yeah, I really would enjoy a new album for her. Just for fuck's sake to see if she got into commercial sound or not. Uh, yeah, and she has a beautiful English accent in combination with toasting. Beautiful combination. 
We got plastic man consumed. This fucker, this fucker right here. Really addictive sound. Uh, here you will hear a lot of knobs twiddling on this one. Uh, uh, and any other album. Uh, all of these albums and tracks are very minimalistic. Some of them even uh, contain some speeches on of himself. Uh, yeah, gotta look into the plastic man, all this stuff. Seriously. You gotta check this guy out and listen to all his shit. Seriously worth it. We got uh, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. A uh, mixture of uh, disco and techno. The early beginnings. Mainly booming in the homoerotic scene. But I like the sound anyway. So there is that. We got a new German wave. New Wave, German New Wave, yeah, that would be the correct translation. Uh, I don't, I didn't listen to this vinyl either, but I know like 59% of the tracks. So there is that. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the tracks themselves. Joachim Witt, that was the guy with uh, Bayreuth Blitz. Bayreuth Blitz, I guess, was it? I don't know, fuck it. We got uh, Harry Ansfield, loads of money. Oi, lots of lots of dosh. Hi, uh, one of my very first uh, vinyls. After two or three months, I got myself the record player you saw in the background, where I started ripping records, and I stumbled over this track because of Killing Floor. And uh, when you throw around cash, loads of money, this dude is always screaming, and uh, mainly he's a comedian. And uh, there are three or four comedy samples. Uh, like, I don't know, you have to look up the samples and what is paradising and the lyrics. Very funny dude. Uh, he also was uh, the guy that did uh, Kevin and Perry Go Large, where two guys, two teenagers, want to become DJs on Ibiza, where they stumble over uh, I. I Paul. IQ Paul, some dude that drinks vodka with his eye. Very funny movie. Seriously, very funny shit. Okay, this comes in here. The KLF. I also got this one uh, from a record where I was with a girl at the time. Uh, the KLF. Somewhat, they have some shitty tricks, they have some good tricks. I don't know what to say about these guys. They also made a record about uh, how you can make a lot of money. Really like that record because uh, you know, right in your face. Government, fuck you. Nah, nah, just joking. Oh man, I seriously, I seriously, getting so angry right now. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Where were we? We were at this point. Oh, boy. And we got transient slide. Working up to chaos and first contact. Uh, yeah, just another slide vinyl. The 12 inch vinyls of slide aren't that good, but the albums and the side projects, I highly suggest. Dogs and crack and cuts on K. Heavy drum bass remixes. College did. Yeah. We got. What was this? Oh, yeah, Matt. Um, Maddox Psycho 2005 remix from the famous 1969 Psycho theme. This one is a GABA remix. Uh, that's why I got this because this is a very special remix. Didn't think I would enjoy it that much. We got once again uh, Slide and the Cure. Seems I have this also twice, so let's put it. There. Nice, I even found it immediately. So, some crack. Oh, yeah, American pop. The movie was somewhat okay. The songs on it were very more interesting. And uh, sometimes very special tracks. 50% you might know, 50% of this uh, is new stuff to you. Maybe a lot of, a lot of this stuff surprised me. And uh, 
the movie could have turned out better, but uh, Ralph Bashki, Ralph Bashki just screwed, screwed this one somewhat up. Yeah, we got, we are, uh, you bastard, lost the plot, BP. can't remember what this was about. And we got, uh, cards K. And Dogs and Crack, Ruined Dark once again. You can see it. Dark Team B. We got, oh, this is very interesting. Uh, Scorp. The record itself, very good. Uh, I really loved both tracks on it. Very interesting psychedelic trance with very new ideas on it. And. Was there to say, yeah, I wrote Scorp some months ago and I asked him if he could digitalize and put this out and then he said, no, I don't even have the tracks anymore. Somebody should, uh, of the fans should send me this and I said, hey, I'm one of those fans, I have this vinyl, are you interested uh, in getting a digital copy of your own tracks? Maybe, and then he said, yeah, yeah, that would be great. And, uh, blah. Way put it out. You, you can even see Germany at the right time, at the right moment. I, would, I might have stepped up to Scorp. I'm also a big Scorp fan, as you might see later on on the CD collection shelf. We got Dogs on Crack with Cats on K, Dogfall. I mainly got these tracks because they were uh, very rare and hard to get in low quality. Not because I enjoyed the sound, so there is that. We got out Eden Transmission. I'm so high. And Leo Paul Trans. I guess this was also some Goa Trans, but I forgot about it. Very rare track. I think I sh just bought it to rip it for other people. Maybe. Otherwise, these tracks would die out. Then we got uh, Coxbox once again. Number one is Crystal. Number two is Orientalic. Number one on the other side is World of Illusions. We got Violet Vision. These dudes did some very experimental shit and uh, changed the scene somewhat. Very unknown, unluckily. Fingering nuns on Mars. And the other one was Bypass All Intellect and Cookies. Cookies is very interesting because it has a very funny intro like, you want a cookie, huh? Here's a cookie, here's a cookie, and then the drum starts. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. We got... Uh, this is... Uh, drum and Bass or House Remix of a Pink Floyd track. Uh, yeah, Adam Hart, Humbucker, yeah, there you can see it. This, this gets sampled a lot, this with, with the guitar, the guitar goes like dun, 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 dun. And the guitar goes on like this and there's some reverb and then it repeats, it repeats again dun, 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 dun. And a lot of people sample this, I know this for a fact jean Michel Jarre, Oxygen, uh, parts 1, 2, 6 uh, You can also hear the... Uh, Number four or number nine, I don't know. On uh, what was it, GTA 4 on the Space Journey radio. That's how I got introduced into this dude. Uh, but I know a lot of other people know this guy as well. Didn't think so. Uh, Kraftwerk, what is that you say? You uh, know all about Kraftwerk. If you want to step up your game, you know. Yeah. Uh, we are the robots. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, beautiful songs. Elvis, Robot 24, 32 hits. I don't know uh, what these sounds like. I just downloaded the best of somewhere else, to be honest. I don't think this will hurt Elvis too much. But maybe his daughter, Priscilla Presley, or what, what her name is. Uh, beautiful woman, she also has some silicone in her face, I love that. Adam and the Ants, Prince Charming, as you can see, I scribbled as a kid over his face. 
not so charming anymore. I don't know why I did that. Don't know why I thought about drawing these kinds of lines. Yeah, these guys got famous for something. I don't know. That's why I kept the record. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, no soundtrack of the movie. I didn't even know I had that. I think I didn't want to rip it because, well, sometimes you don't want the vinyl sound, believe me. Oh, uh, yeah, and here we are at the beginning. So, that's basically it. The charge of the, the battery. The battery is running out. I got about uh, 11 minutes left. But we still start with some CDs. Better starting than finishing, whatever that shit meant. I'll take this fucker in. And then talk about some CDs I got. The Adam Hart sound in my head, you know, this down, 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 down. Just can't get it out of my head right now. Beautiful. Okay, let's get over to the CD section. Mm. Let's just start. I wanna use for a thumbnail. I just thought uh, tits and ass. Well, I was gonna sell, so why not use this? So I thought these uh, two, three, I thought this also three times. Uh, so I used these three as a thumbnail somewhat to get more clicks on this video. This is my main plan. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's start uh, with Girlfriend of the Year. Beautiful compilation. Here you can see the album, just uh, sticking on there, not very good. And on there, we got somewhat of an album magazine, beautiful album, which you put up some pictures with stories together, how to make a drink that makes you forget your boyfriend, and also very, very vain themes, you know. You can read between the lines that she's sarcastic somewhat. Then the image, uh, stock images, very badly cropped, uh, very poor design on purpose. You know, I, <laughs> there's some very funny trash in this uh, recipe here. Yeah. Kiss with a tongue, there are some lyrics on there, then some graphic, blah blah. They can see girlfriend of the year, beautiful UK female that has her own sound, basically. From the PC music label, they also do some very experimental pop hardcore techno shit, I don't know. And uh, these are the pictures you can see on here and there. I just skipped some, but uh, yeah, you can see some of the Girlfriend of the Year brands. You should, uh, thanks everyone, and the song list, and blah blah blah. Who did what? And. Uh, Highly suggestible to buy that shit again. Yeah, one new album. This was a good purchase for, I don't know, 30 euros or so, or 20. I know. Then we got uh, Urknall, Big Bang, basically. And it's um, Postata Beschwerden, Pro Starter Beschwerden. Mainly this translates to uh, prostate uh, problems, you know? And it's a wordplay, a German wordplay, like in three times, uh, three kind of wordplays at the same time. And the, the main concept on this album, or no, EP, is uh, I'll, I'll bang your mom and you're stupid. Uh, I listened to it three or four times, but uh, I don't know. Some of this stuff just feels too dumb for me, I don't know. I also contacted this guy to say uh, I... If you give me enough information, I can release the CP on Discogs. And he said, yeah, beautiful, okay, I'll give you more info. But he never responded. That's that. Uh, he does rap, so I guess he makes some kind of good living. He won't die very poorly. That's for sure. 
Then we got limited edition uh, ISAM control of nature with uh, I did some MDMA and speed on this uh, about eight years ago on the side trans festivals with some friends. Here you can see the ISAM CD and the main inspiration for the album. Uh, some lyrics, I don't know what, what, what the inspiration was for the album. Uh, the inspiration was uh, microphones, very tiny microphones to uh, record insects humming and singing and flying around and modifying that sound in Cubase because this dude uses Cubase and that's why I got also into Cubase. All a little dirt and dust over here and there. And uh, a female photographer made these sculptures out of dead insects and made photos out of it. And that's how we get to this collection. After this album, Emman Tobin did basically not much anymore because what he did was uh, he released a remix album of this one where other people remixed this. Then a live remix version of some other dudes that made very... The remixes were very interesting, I have to say that, but there's nothing, not very much new material. Then he put out some compilations uh, of his older tracks. Then he put out a, a somewhat short EP that was more ambient than anything. And after that, it got quite for the last two or three years. And I'm talking is somewhat dead, I would say, you know, which is kind of sad because uh, waste of potential. Dude comes also from the UK, so. There you have it why it has this good sound. So the battery has six minutes left. That's why I'm gonna stop here. And the next time we'll cover these four staples somewhat. Yeah.